Hey guys, this is Matt. I'm going to be showing you a cool application today called 1Password. 1Password allows you to store all your different passwords from all your different logins, all your different accounts, even your credit card information right on one application called 1Password. 1Password is uh, really cool because all you have to do is remember 1Password, thus the name 1Password. That's your master password. You enter in your master password and you're good to go. You have all your Facebook, Google, Twitters, everything you need right on here. Now I don't have all mine on here yet because I'm still adding just started using this about a week ago, but I used it in the past and I loved it. I can't believe I haven't been using it recently, but uh, you know, you can store your different email accounts, your Gmail, your Yahoo, basically anything, any type, your Amazon, your uh, different generic accounts, IMs, uh, server, iTunes, anything, you name it, 1Password can do it. So let me show you how 1Password works. Say you wanted to make a new login. So let's say uh, I was making a new Twitter called Twitter. Had to put in the URL, Twitter, oops, twitter.com. Put in my username, Nidish Joga. That's already taken, but who cares? Generate. The generate button allows you to, <clears throat> but this is what I use because, uh, I actually don't know my password for any of my logins because I have uh, one password generated generated for me. So you can go all the way down to just one character, which isn't very safe. But uh, you know, can change. You can make it even like you can make twenty, basically any size you want. You can have it on here, and it'll just tell you the strength of your password. So obviously, if you have a fifty character password, nobody's ever going to guess that. So that's a really good password to have. So basically, whenever I'm making a new account, or I've actually gone through all my older accounts, like my Google, I've changed all my passwords to these ridiculously long 50 character passwords. And you can change the digits on here. Like You can have up to 10 digits in there. Symbols. I don't know websites that take symbols, but avoid ambiguous characters, allow characters to repeat. Uh, you can hyphen. That's kind of cool. You can add digits every, uh, that's, those are separators. So it's a really advanced uh, application, or it's not really advanced, but it's a really cool generator that allows you to generate these ridiculously long passwords and save them. Once you have it saved, it's on there forever. As long as you can remember your one password, you have access to all your different passwords. This is what this application is made to do, and I love it. I definitely recommend that you guys try it out. So you can add tags, you can add notes, you can add attachments. It just works really good. So guys, besides passwords, you can add uh, identities. Uh, so if you had a friend on here, let's call him uh, Derek. Derek yeah. um, you can add first name, initials. You can basically, it's like contacts, but it's a lot safer if you had any private um, people and you didn't want their information getting out, you could put it on this one password application and nobody would know besides you. You can add secure notes, secure grocery lists, basically anything you want directly right on one password. Add software license keys. You know, you can add basically as much wallet information. You can add credit cards, uh, banking account numbers, any personal information your driver's license, it's crazy what you can do on here. Um, passports, you got a password on here. Um, you know, so you never have to remember it. It's all on one password. Uh, I just love this application so much. I can't believe I haven't been using it recently, but I definitely recommend that you guys go try it out. You can sync between all your iOS devices, your iPhone, your iPad, get the application for your iPhone. It's like 10 bucks, not really that expensive. And especially, it's kind of an investment because you're spending like $10 for the iPhone app. Then you're going to spend another like $10 for the iPad app. And actually, this app is probably the most like, the worst thing about it is it's so expensive. It's like 49 bucks, But it's an investment. And if you really have like 
like a lot of accounts. I know some of my friends have at least like 10 emails and they never can remember any of their passwords. So they all just make it the same password. And I'm, t- I'm telling them like if, if their account gets hacked or something, then they have all their passwords to all their different accounts. And, you know, it's really, really important that you make sure you have different passwords for all your different accounts. So that way you don't get hacked. And it makes this application makes it so easy to get onto your account. So you just click the URL, it puts the passwords in, and you're good to go as long as you've logged in with your one password. You're good to go. And that's what I love about this application. So definitely check it out. You can pick it up from the Mac App Store for 50 bucks. Kind of expensive, but it's an investment. Uh, go check it out. I think they have a trial on their website, onepassword.com. Uh, great application. I love it a lot. So I definitely, definitely would recommend getting this app. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, Meet H2O Guy. Uh, Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.